Hey, peace and blessings, everybody. I hope you can hear me. It's, it's uh, the music kind of playing behind me in the background. A guy has this thing going on. But anyway, I decided to share something with you real quick. Jerry High Sun, like the Minds Enterprise. Check this out. So earlier, I had this wire, it's a remote wire that needs to be hooked up in my truck to get my music to play. And so because I have amp speakers, all the extra stuff, I had to always get out and hook it up directly to the battery that's in the back so that it'll come on when I crank the car up. It's only because, though, I didn't hook it back to the original wire that allows it to come on when I crank the vehicle up. And the thing about it is that I already knew that the wire had come loose, and I just had to I had to go and hook it up because I, I normally have this guy who messes with my music for me, and he already told me what I needed to do, and I was like, oh, okay, man, so I, I just hadn't done it, you know? And the thing was that, I'm gonna tell you, I went, I went around about at least I, I rode around about at least, I would say probably close to almost two months because I just never felt like going back there to hook this wire up, right? And so this morning I went ahead and done it. But more to the story is this here. Procrastination. They are, you know, we already know the thing about procrastination, number one hindrance for people in there and they're striving for success. But let me tell you, I want I want to kind of reword it. I'm saying procrastination, but I'm saying habit. The habit that we create, the habit of putting things off, the habit of procrastinating. I'm saying it is a habit. It ain't just procrastination, it's habits. It's the habits we acquire. It's the habits we have developed. It's the habits that we create. A lot of time that keeps us from doing what we need to do to get to that next phase, that next level, that next stage, that next whatever we're trying to do. So we, a lot of time we've been undone so much as being who we are and doing how we do it. And a lot of time we'd be like, this is how I've been. But one thing that I've learned is that sometimes the way we've, the way we are, the things that we have developed, the things we have acquired that got us this far, a lot of times won't get us beyond that point. And it's some things that we just simply have to let go of. It's people we have to let go of. It's ideals we have to let go of. It's ways of living that we just simply have to change and let go of. I remember my uncle told me a long time ago when I was about 17. He said, if you look back a year ago and you find yourself in the same place that you was in about a year ago, that is something in your life cycle you need to change because every day is supposed to be about growth and productivity. And if you're in the same place that you were in a year ago, then you're not growing. And so, when I look at my own personal life, my own personal endeavors, my own personal striving, things that I'm, you know, tr uh, uh, striving to get towards, and striving to get done, when I say, okay, bam, I've reached the hindrance, I've reached the blockage, and I have to really be honest with self and stop trying to blame everything around me and say, okay, it's some things that I ain't doing. I tell people all day, look, man, I ain't have no choice. I don't have nothing else I could do. What else can I do? I've done all I could do. That's not true. We ain't done all we can do until we've done all we can do, but we have to be honest with ourselves and really analyze, assess, and examine all the things that's in our personal world, things that we do on a daily basis from the time that we wake up to the time that we go to sleep. We have to look at all those different things and realize, okay, all right, so I've been doing this, I've been doing that, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, and some of this stuff I need to let go because honestly, I mean, me being truthful, like with myself, you being, you know, that person saying, honestly, I mean, it, 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 it's not serving a purpose. I mean, other than the fact that, I mean, you, you see me sweating, I'm like getting super hot, but come on, my vehicle's out. But anyway, honestly, be, uh, being honest with self, me, me saying that outside of me holding on to certain things because I'm comfortable with it, outside of that, it serves no purpose and so would it be i need to really i mean because one of my one of my stress and striving is changing the way i eat and i i'm i'm an advocate i believe that we only can be so healthy we only can strive so far we only can do so much when we're not taking care of the vessel that we exist in that we travel in i'm saying this physical vessel you know I understand too now that I remember I heard you know the brother uh, Yada I mean he, he speaks about uh, you know when we're not taking care of that vessel right how 
that contributes to depression. You know, one of the things I had told people is that depression was the result of ingratitude. Now, I still stand that there are some types of depression now, I say, that are contributed to ingratitude. And I believe there are probably a lot, a, a, a big percentage of it. But another big percentage is the fact that we're not taking care of this. And this is not balanced. This is not where it needs to be. I'm saying the physical body, the flesh, uh, which affects us spiritually and mentally. And so in a way, moving beyond what I'm, what my whole point again is that we just have to change some things up. We have to stop procrastinating. We have to really cultivate a ritual and habit of success. We have to really get serious about that because we're not serious about being successful in whatever it is we're trying to be successful at. Whatever goal we're trying to meet, whatever goal we're trying to accomplish, we're not really serious about it until we've done all we can do. And I'm saying it's not just um, putting out certain amount of energy it's not just work 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 now it's you have to we have to get rid of some things we have to get rid of some people we have to move around too and get in sometimes different locations sometimes we got to get outside the city I, I i feel like the city is also uh an analogy of the box sometimes we got to get outside the box get outside what we're familiar with get outside of what we're comfortable with and sometimes that is the thing that's hindering us so anyway, with all that being said, peace and blessings. I hope y'all have a good one.